2002 model F-150 Harley Davidson. Uh, it's probably the same in all the other F-150 models that come with a sunroof. This truck in particular had an issue where the water will leak inside the cab. There are two drain pipes that were clogged. This is one of the hoses. I have the headliner slightly pulled down. This line travels along this panel right here inside. We were wanting to replace them, but our access is basically impossible. Let me get some light in here. That's the hose. What we did is we took it off, we blew it with air, water, and soap, and we put a zip tight on here to help it uh, from coming out. I'm gonna show you guys the other side. This here is the driver's side. What we found on this side is this line here was kinked. That's why we put a zip tie on here to try and, and re-round the hose, if you will. Uh, the angle at which it comes is, is not ideal. It was definitely kinked. That's probably part of the issue. Now at the top, what they did is they destroyed this truck by gluing the glass onto the body with freaking silicone so we had a hell of a time trying to remove the silicone to be able to slide the glass back in there are two itty bitty holes it's very hard to see let me see if i can focus on it somehow anyways there is a hole on the corner where the, li where the line attaches on each corner in the front. Um, basically, uh, with the age of the vehicle and all the debris that's gotten into those lines, they're gonna get clogged. The only way to unclog it is really to remove the visors, pull down this enough to where you can access the drain and then basically if the hose is still in decent enough shape just air blow them get all the debris all the crap out of it so that if water gets in here it has a way to drain out instead of leaking from the center console and everywhere else there is another possibility for a water leak on this truck and that will be the windshield um with age the Silicone they use to attach the windshield onto the body rots. You have water that gets in between the seal and the body and it rots everything. As you can see, the owner of the truck attempted to put silicone throughout to try and prevent it from leaking, but that obviously wasn't the issue. Um, we did a rear main seal and an input shaft seal on, on, the, on this truck. But the biggest issue we were having was the water leaking inside the cab. So I just wanted to post this video for anybody who might need it. There is very little, very limited information on this F-150s um, as far as the drain and everything else related to the sunroof. Hopefully this fixes the problem. If it doesn't, I'll be doing another video, but more than likely, based on all the debris and crap that came out when we air blew the lines, we're pretty confident that this is gonna be a fix. Like and subscribe, and I'll try to po post mo more uh, videos. I know that I've been absent for a while. If you're subscribed to my channel, just expect to see a whole lot more videos because I've got a gazillion cars to fix here. So, I'll, I'll try to post some videos. I've just been extremely busy. Uh, don't think that the channel is dead, guys. If you're subscribed, I'll be happy to keep posting videos for you guys. I've got tons of cars to fix. And, um, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching.